Hi guys, welcome back to ThinkView. Today I have with me a laptop that many many of you have asked me to review in the comment section. Yes, the Lenovo Legion 5 or more exactly 5i because this is the Intel version. Sometimes I wonder, this is a machine that has a very different design compared to other gaming laptops on the market right now. It is a gaming laptop that has very little gaming in it, if you know what I mean. So how come it attracts so much attention and anticipation? Is it because our taste in the gaming laptops has evolved? Before sharing with you guys my experience after a week of using this laptop, I want to ask you guys one question. What do you like and expect to have in a gaming laptop nowadays? in terms of design and features. Comments below your thoughts. As for my part, this Lenovo Legion 5 is a contemporary gaming laptop. Not just because of its design, but also everything about it really. Let's start with the design because this is one of the most unique things about this machine. You see, this is the least gaming design in all of the gaming laptops that I've seen in 2020. Although it still has a firm, masculine design language, still has the sharp edges and angles of a gaming laptop. The whole thing is made of plastic, but the quality of the material and the way Lenovo finish it is very, very good compared to any other gaming laptops in the same price range. The chassis is very sturdy. Both the top lid and the keyboard frame have a matte finish, while the rest is just pure plastic. The matte surface on the top lid is a little thinner, plus the coppery navy-ish paint, so it looks and feels very similar to metal. This clearly shows that Lenovo has paid a lot of attention to the finishing quality of their product. The top lid also has a very simple design. I really like this logo. It has a very sophisticated color hue to it, instead of the RGB like last year. I think it still has a gaming quality to it, still very attractive and full of personality. It's just more subtle and gentle. The internal design is coherent with the outside, from colors to the matte finish. But the matte surface on the palm rest is a little thicker, just a tiny bit, just enough for a more solid and stable feel when you rest your hands on it. However, I think this matte finish will get oily and shiny after a while, with sweats and the constant rubbing. The rest of the chassis is made from pure plastic, but it still looks very pretty. Look at the air vents, how even they are. But keep in mind that the protruding part behind the display, while it looks cool, makes the machine a bit larger and heavier, harder to put in a backpack. The hinge is quite sturdy and you can easily open it from different angles with one hand, but it's only a two-joint hinge, so it's a little weak in the middle. The display frame is also a little flimsy. It bends quite a bit even when I just slightly push it at the sides. And Lenovo has also included a latch in the middle so opening the machine is much easier. They also included a slider to physically cover up the webcam. I think these are small things that are very cheap and easy to equip, but they bring very practical values to the machine. The keyboard has a similar layout to the previous model. It has a numpad if that's what you need. More importantly, typing on a Lenovo laptop always has a different feel. The keycaps always curve a little more than usual, and they also have a matte finish. Key travel is not too long, but enough for a comfortable typing feel. The keyboard has a 4-zone RGB LED system, a rare thing to see in a budget gaming laptop. But because this is just a budget gaming laptop LED, so the lights are quite glaring. The color transition is also quite glitchy because there are only 4 zones. Overall, I don't use the RGB LED on this laptop very often. The touchpad has a good tracking feel. This year, Lenovo have gotten rid of the left and right click buttons. I like it because it makes for a cleaner look. The display. Full HD IPS panel, average display quality but it has a 120Hz refresh rate. Obviously, a contemporary gaming laptop would need a high refresh rate screen. Maybe not everyone would be able to feel and appreciate a premium IPS panel or tell it apart from a higher than average one. 
but the smoothness of a 120Hz screen compared to a 60Hz just can't be mistaken. Everyone would be able to see it. Gaming on the Legion is a very comfortable experience, an undistracting design, a good keyboard, comfy palm rest, and a 120Hz screen. Everything is just nice and smooth, but the screen only has a 280 nits brightness, so you should only game indoors in a low light condition. If you just turn on the lights a little, sometimes you won't even see an enemy hiding in the corner. The speakers are just average. I mean, it's an entry-level gaming laptop. At least the Legion 5 sound quality is at an okay level, not too flat. Okay, the smoothness in the gaming experience of course also comes a lot from performance and cooling. And this is also one of the factors that led me to conclude that this is a contemporary gaming laptop. What I mean by contemporary here is not necessarily the most powerful or the latest, but the harmony in the overall experience. Specifically, this $1100 base model uses the Core i5-10300H, 4 cores, 8 threads, GTX 1650 graphics card, 8GB of RAM, and a hefty upgraded 512GB SSD. A plentiful spec for you to game and utilize the 120Hz screen. Honestly, this year, I'm not too crazy about Intel Core i7s. Yes, they're powerful, but they're so hot. With this Core i5 model, it stays cool with everything you do. Cool gaming, cool rendering, suitable for the demands of most users. How fantastic! But I should also give credit to the cooling system of the machine. Very open with 4 sets of air vents. The bottom is both nice looking and well ventilated. A lot of open space for cool air to come in. The GTX 1650 is also not the latest or the most powerful graphics card. But compared to the latest GTX 1650 Ti, gaming FPS is not that different. And with a spec sheet that seem a little on the lower end like this one, you get very good cooling. I mean, the fan does make some noise but it's not at all annoying. Other than that, you get a very nice design, a good finishing quality, a 120Hz screen, and a good keyboard. And that's what I meant when I talked about the overall experience. That is what would help you game and work well and comfortably in the long term. IOs are well divided all around. This is a very convenient port setup. The stuff that's required for an external display with all the wires are all put behind, while USB-A's and audio jack are put on the left and right for your gears. Okay, upgradability. I don't recommend upgrading this machine because you'd have to take this whole module out, and it's also very difficult. If you do open it up, you would have 2 RAM slots, 2 M2 SSD slots, and one 2.5-inch SATA slot for storage customization. Lastly, the 60Wh battery gives about 4 hours of use time. Let's conclude on the Legion 5. My initial thought about it was, oh, Legion 5 is really just a fancy name change for the previous Y540 model. It's really nothing. But clearly, when I actually get to experience it, it gives me many new kinds of experience. I'm a fan of this design, this finishing style, and this spec option for $1100. And remember, you should always look for deals when purchasing a Lenovo laptop, which they roll out a lot on their website. Right now, the Core i7 model with GTX 6060 Ti and tons of extra storage is on sale for even cheaper than this base model that I have here. Back to this laptop. To me, this is the contemporary gaming laptop. It satisfies what I think is the demands of modern life, both for working and entertaining purposes, for a very reasonable price. What about you? What do you think is a contemporary gaming laptop? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you real soon.